Can you discuss your first impressions of the team after your first 4 nothing victory over Sacramento State? The first impressions of the team after the, the Sac State game were pretty positive, um, especially, especially on, on the attack. Uh, you know, uh, having the belief and, and scoring goals in games is uh, it's critical. It's critical any time during the year. So for us to do that out of the gate uh, was, uh, was a premium. Uh, but, uh, but having said that, uh, we still feel that there's a lot that we need to work on going forward. Uh, before Jake Parker scored in the final few seconds of the half, uh, Sacramento State was controlling some of the action. Uh, was, there, was that a big lift to have that goal right before the half? Jake Parker's goal with the assist from Alex Penny was a, was a major lift. I think it was a momentum changer, and, and uh, you'll have momentum shifts during the game, but when it happened so close to halftime like that, uh, I, I think that uh, that ended up being the play of the game, and, and it set us off to to come uh, in the second half to play we want, the way we wanted to play. Did some of the younger players have a good feel for the regular season game speed? I mean, Mikhail DeHollis had his first career goal. Uh, did they perform as well as you thought? The, for the first year guys to perform, it, it, it's always tricky. You know, uh, there, there's an expectation that uh, players don't know until they do it. And so for Mikhail to get on the score sheet, uh, his very first game was, was tremendous for him. Um, and, and it gives a lift to, to everybody else on the team. It, it's very tough for a new player. E even the players that are a little older, that uh, this is their first time playing uh, American college soccer, like, like Bjorn Sandberg and, and Jackson Groves, uh, there's a transitional period that happens. But I think all in all, uh, the guys that had their first American college games did, did quite well on, on Friday. Uh, you mentioned a little bit about the offense. Um, maybe you're not going to score four goals per game. But uh, the offensive pressure, is that something that you feel like you can count on as the season moves along? We're going to have to. We're going to have to count on the uh, offensive pressure. It's, uh, I think the offensive pressure, what it does, it asks a lot of questions of the opponent's defense. And so uh, any team that's able to have that type of offensive uh, attack uh, imposes themselves on, on, on opponents. And so that's something that we want to try to carry into every game if, if possible. And it takes the pressure off the defense, too. Um, it changes the whole complexion of the game. So uh, if we're able to sustain that, that would be great. Um, but it's, it's, it's early days, and uh, again, there's a lot we need to work on. Your next opponent is UC Santa Barbara. They're highly ranked and very good. Can you talk about some of the challenges that they present? Santa Barbara's uh, built themselves quite a little tradition and uh, have done well in the, the last you know, six, seven, eight years as far as building a, 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 a national title contender. So for us to to play them um, is going to be a great challenge for us, like, like the other games that we're going to play. So uh, we're looking at the next match as uh, the bar being a high bar, and we need to be able to meet that and supersede it. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and uh, you know the guys are training hard for those type of games. And so uh, on Friday, uh, we'll see where the measuring stick is for us. And after being in camp and having a couple of home games, uh, is it good for team chemistry to sort of get on the road for a weekend? Well, you know, being on the road for a weekend uh, can, can be good. You know, uh, I think the chemistry right now is, is quite good. Um, you know, the last two and a half weeks of, of camp, and now that we're into the regular season, uh, the life on the road is a little bit different, especially if you're going to go Friday, Sunday. So uh, for us to get on the road, it will be good. You know, it'll prepare us for the, the weekend after when we have to uh, get on a plane and fly because that's going to be most of our games in the Pac-12. So we're looking forward to it.